The reason you're not getting the views that you want to on YouTube right now is simply because your thumbnails suck compared to your competitors. And if you implement the three-step process that I share with you in this video, it's gonna make your thumbnails way better and you don't need any editing experience, you don't need any design experience, literally anybody could do this and it's going to skyrocket the views that you're getting right now on YouTube because if nobody likes your thumbnail, nobody clicks on your video and that's exactly what's happening to you. In fact, these changes help this creator gain over 300,000 subscribers and this creator over 1.1 million subscribers and neither of them are a design expert or anything like that. So step number one in this process is you do not need to be recreating the wheel when it comes to your thumbnails on YouTube. That is the biggest mistake that I see so many accounts make and it's one of the worst things that you could possibly do. Instead, you need to look at what already exists for the topic that you're gonna be creating and then make your thumbnails with that in mind. For example, if I was going to upload a video about let's say how to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube, I'm gonna come into the inspiration tab on YouTube and type in how to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube. I'm going to click on this. This is going to show me all of the different popular video ideas and it shows me exactly what worked for other people. So I'm gonna be able to look at this, come under videos and see all of the different thumbnails. Now I like this one right here, so I'm gonna take a screenshot of this and I'm gonna save that for later. Now this is me doing this for a specific topic. The other thing that you could do is come over to YouTube and type it in. Again, how to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube. We're going to type this in and see if anything else shows up different. What do you notice here? This video that shows up number one is actually the video that I screenshotted here before and I figured that it would be the best video because it was the longest, but that doesn't always actually happen. In addition to that, if you're ever randomly just scrolling through YouTube, like I'm about to do right now, and you see a really good thumbnail, for example, I like this one, what I'm gonna do is screenshot it. I like this one, go in a screenshot it. You need to have a swipe file of different thumbnails that performed really well why? So that you can actually use those in the future. The other thing that you could do is not just look at the thumbnails for the search that you're doing, but you could look for other things on YouTube and find other thumbnail styles that you'd like. And you want to build this up. You're going to have five, 10, a bunch of different thumbnail styles. But remember, you don't want to have too many thumbnail styles and think that you need to recreate this every time. For example, if we come over to Mr. Beast right now, you're going to see that he actually uses the same thumbnails over and over again. So if we look here, this is a dual thumbnail. This one's just him. What do we see? A dual thumbnail. This one's just him. And if we keep scrolling down, we're going to see that he keeps using basically the same thumbnail formats over and over again. Another dual, another dual. And he keeps doing this because clearly they work. Okay, so now that we have the thumbnail that we actually like, here's what we're going to do. You're going to come to this website right here, cleanup.pictures, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to actually make the thumbnail. So from here, I have to come into my files, recent, today, I believe it was this one that was the actual thumbnail that I liked, and it was. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to grab this brush, I'm going to make it a certain length, and I'm actually gonna make it a little bit smaller, and I'm gonna go like this, and then look at what this does. This says nine, seven, eight subscribers, and now that is going to be gone. In fact, it's absolutely gone, and I could get rid of this arrow here, and again, it's going to be gone, and I could get rid of this right here, and what's it do? It's gone. So now what do I have? I can download this thumbnail, and then from here, I can come over to Canva, I can go to Create Design, I can type in YouTube Thumbnail, boom. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this download that I have here, I'm gonna to toss this in here, I'm going to expand this out to its full width right here. And this is like literally the easiest way to create a thumbnail on YouTube. Now this made this little imperfection right here. So what I'm gonna be able to do is come into here, come into shapes. I'm gonna make sure that this is black so that it matches the background. And then I'm going to get rid of that right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to try to find a font that looks like the subscriber font. So I'm gonna do this, I'm going to make this gray. I'm going to type this in right here. I'm going to add this text box right here. So this is going to say, let's say a thousand subscribers. And then I'll be able to expand this from here. Boom, boom, boom. We might want to bold this. You get the point. You have to mess around with this a little bit, but we can change this to be a thousand subscribers. Maybe we want it to be a little bit bigger. We can make this like this. Boom, and now we need to add an arrow into here elements, we're gonna go 
arrow. And again, this is all literally just using free tools. So we're gonna go through these arrows. I don't like any of these. Um, I do like this arrow. So we're going to take this arrow. We're going to shrink this. We're going to make this like this. Maybe we move a thousand subscribers or something like that, but you get the point. We're gonna put the arrow here. We can come up here, we can change the color. We're going to put yellow. You guys get the point. From here, I literally just went ahead and created a brand new thumbnail that looks very similar to the original thumbnail. If we pull up the original thumbnail. So basically, I was just able to recreate this thumbnail and this person probably paid somebody to create this thumbnail and I didn't even have to do that because I was able to do it with these free tools because of AI, but again, we cannot stop here. First, we researched. Secondly, we created the thumbnail. Now from here, we're going to want to come over here. We're going to want to download this thumbnail. And then what I want to do is I want to come into YouTube, upload my video, and see whether or not it's actually going to do well. Now we're going to do this with an existing video that I have. For example, if we scroll down here, this video right here is doing pretty solid. Okay, so from here, what we're going to be able to do is scroll down. This video, YouTube not giving you views, check this set. I'm going to type in YouTube not giving you views because that's what somebody would search if they were going to find this video. You could put this right here, click preview in search results. Now what we're going to be able to see is how our video is going to show up against the other videos. Now obviously my video is ranked for search here, but we'll be able to see how it compares to these thumbnails. And guess what? I think my video is actually a lot better, which is why it's ranking higher in search. And we can see that for the search screen. We can see that for the home screen. You can compare against competitors. You could see it on different devices so you can actually see how good your thumbnail is. And again, you do all of this before you even publish the video. Why? Because this allows you to make a better thumbnail than your competitors are currently doing, which is going to skyrocket your reach. Now, if you want to use a tool that I was just using, I strongly suggest that you go to the pinned comment below right now and get started with FitIQ. It's just $1 for the next 30 days. It makes it incredibly easy for you to be able to compare your thumbnail up against your competitors before you publish so you don't waste your time posting a video that you could have known wasn't going to do as well as you want. In addition to that, they have an outliers feature that allows you to see the top trending videos within your niche. They have the views per hour feature, which allows you to see how many views videos are getting so you can determine which videos you want to create. So what are you waiting for? If you want to grow quicker on YouTube, I strongly suggest you go to the pinned comment below and get started with vidIQ today. It's just $1 for the next 30 days. Please, don't let $1 be the difference between you growing on YouTube or you failing to grow. But remember, just creating the right thumbnail isn't the only thing you need to do. You also need to make sure you have good titles, you have good topics, and that your whole entire video is something people want to watch because if it's not, it's going to destroy the reach that you're getting. And if you're struggling with any of those things, I personally want to help you with them. I want to work with you step by step the same way that I helped this creator get over 300,000 subscribers, this creator over 400,000 subscribers, this creator over a million subscribers. I want to help you too so that you could get more views, get more subscribers, and ultimately get monetized on YouTube. If that sounds interesting and you want to work together one-on-one -on -one with everything that you do, well, please keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you. The opportunity to grow on YouTube and this organic reach that we're currently seeing is not going to last forever. And there are two things holding you back right now. The first one is that you haven't implemented everything that I just shared with you in this video. And the second is that you haven't gotten into my YouTube mentorship program yet, which literally is going to guarantee that I help you get more subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days, or you get your money back zero questions asked. In fact, the average person that's gone through this program in the last 30 days has gained over 31,000 subscribers and the lowest amount of subscribers anybody has ever gained is a thousand subscribers if they implement everything that I share with them in this video. If you want results like that, please go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. Because if you're still watching this video, I'm going to guess that you're above average. So the odds of you getting over 31,000 subscribers is probably quite high. And if you don't remember, you need a thousand subscribers in order to get monetized on YouTube. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to make more money from YouTube and for you to set yourself up to become a full-time YouTuber. In fact, I'm going to tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use again to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If you don't get more subscribers in the next 30 days, I will give you your money back zero questions asked. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is designed to help you get more subscribers faster and easier. Ultimately, it's going to get you more subscribers or your money back. This creator just went through it and gained over 100,000 subscribers. This creator, over 150,000 subscribers. And this creator, over 400,000 subscribers. And I want you to be my next success story. And I want you to be the next person that makes a full-time living from YouTube. So please go to the link in the description below, sign up right now. You literally 
have absolutely nothing to lose. You're gonna get more subscribers or you're gonna get your money back. If you're not interested in those two things, please watch the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.